My name is Tom Nicholson. In this video, I will tell you of my sad and painful struggle in my life, and hope that with it I may be able to remind you of how blessed you are, even though at times your life may be harsh. I was born on Friday, October 13th, 1982. At the age of five, my father, a leading entity in the Harlem dead ass gang, committed suicide in front of my mother and I. My mother, then suffering from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, left without a trace when I turned seven. I began to work in the worst parts of Harlem as an underage male stripper. Getting paid at 60 cents an hour, I woke up from work from under the abandoned bus I called home at 3 a.m. When I turned 14, my luck changed for the better and I was hired as a special substance distributor, unknowingly selling and dealing cocaine. At the age of 16, I was arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia and was sentenced to five years of juvenile detention. At 21 years old, I was released with my GED diploma and went on to Chicago to find my fortune. As I was in juvie earlier in my time, few employers considered me in the marketing business, which called me so much. And I was forced to work as a medical examiner's or forensic doctor's assistant and work my way up in the medicine field. I made a quite beautiful woman at 27 years called Myla, and after much time knowing each other, decided to have a very romantic night together. To my usual luck though, it turned out she was the wife of the mayor of one of the small towns in Alabama, and we were both disgraced in the news. I lost my job as chief medical examiner was forced to work as an assistant to a clown in Miami called Maurice Chavez, doing parties for birthdays, bar mitzvahs, funerals, and go-go bars. In time, even Chavez, my clown employer, moved on to the radio field of work. In the midst of my depression, I turned to drugs as a relief, and I was addicted to cocaine, opium, marijuana, and PCP soon and began to take stimulants as a daily chore. I was soon arrested for drug possession once again and for the murder of two children in Kissimmee, Florida. As I was sentenced to life in prison, I had much time to think of my life and its errors, and I wondered ceaselessly why I was sentenced to such a harsh and cruel life. I cried and cried for days on end, looking for the answer. And then it hit me. I was Cyclops.